to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via two minute art tip. Today we will likely go over two minutes. This is part of a kind of like larger viewer request kind of thing. We actually were talking about the elements of design or the principles of design in a prior video and we were kind of like mostly focusing on balance in that one. But we were talking about how similar yet kind of different the elements of design are versus um, the elements of art, line, shape, color, texture, value, blah, blah, blah. Whereas the elements of design are similar in many ways, but not exactly the same. And so mm, people commented and enjoyed the other video, but were like, you know what? We would like to have some discussion about each of these. Let's go into talking about more of this. So let, let's talk it out, baby. Let's just do the whole thing. So the first one that I want to start with is actually emphasis. You can think of this like focal point in a more fine art setting. For design, they call it emphasis. Where is it that you're trying to get the viewer's eye to go? And what vehicle are you using in order to get the viewer's eye to go there? So it can be color contrast, it can be value contrast, it can be directional line, it can be um, natural positioning, uh, you know, inside the composition, it can be isolation. So on this one, granted, you know, emphasis, we're using a couple of different vehicles in order to create emphasis in this. So where, where is the emphasis? Well, to me, right there, right here. What this is, is I've got some mostly cool color washes going on here and it got a little boring and I was just like, so what, what would be interesting to have, uh, have happen, just something totally different was just a bold warm tone going in there. What this does is you're creating emphasis by having contrast from warm cool right there. Now granted we do have some metallic gold that kind of operates as a warm as well. Um, but we also have kind of isolated it. We have like a two thirds, one third kind of division of the visual space. And then where I naturally reads from left to right anyway, we've plopped this uh, right over here uh, on this right edge to force the viewer's eye to move across the page um, to that spot. Now, what you may not be able to see as well in here um, on this is that there's also some metallic line, uh, some rhythmic line in here that also just kind of, we're not trying to like bore you with this one thing. We've got other things going on. We've got color variation. We've got some blooms because I like them. Um, and then we have, you know, some pooling of different color and stuff like that. But this is what we're trying to get the viewer to look at. So this is our point of emphasis. This is where the focal point lies. In a very, very simple composition, but a very effective way at getting um, the viewer's eye where you want it to go. And these same concepts can be applied even in a much more complicated composition um, with any of the techniques that we've talked about, like color, isolation, contrast, directional line, directional shape, all those kinds of methods um, will help you in creating emphasis or moving the eyes, uh, viewer's eye to a focal point easily in your work. So we hope that you enjoy.